Yeah. Yeah, he's doing the replay glitch, but I don't do this. I just play the game regularly. And again, you can't you can't do this either because if you close the application, you will get no money. Uh, there she is. I, I I will be the only one receiving money, so you you won't get anything. So if I were you, I wouldn't do that on your own house. Unless you're playing with like a person like Leandro that's also doing it, then you can do it for him and he can do it for you. And this way you can just make 85% of each other's heist. That's uh, then you... Sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, yeah, if you want to do the heist regularly, normally, like I do it, then every time you do the heist, you have to set up, the, you have to do the scope out and the preps, yeah. Uh, because I don't, I don't glitch. I tend to. You're going the wrong way here, bud. <laughs> you're missing a turn. Yeah, but that's not this. <laughs> it's around the corner. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Let's see, this is the compound, as you can tell, the the backside of it. Yeah. Well, now you know. You can just park it near the yellow marker there, yeah, good. We cannot resist coming back. Yeah, if you would do that, you would get nothing. I would get 20%, which is basically useless, <laughs> and, then, uh, and you would get nothing. The 80% would just disappear into the and vanish into uh, thin air. <laughs> Uh, it really depends, you know. There's so many things you can do in GTA, you know. If you can, if you want to grind something a little bit, like I grinded the casino heist for a while, you can make a lot of money. And then uh, you've never done the casino heist, the diamond casino heist. Oh yeah, I don't know. I I barely know you, so I I, I had no clue what kind of experience you had. So yeah, well there's there's also a couple of there's a couple of casino heists. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, it sounded like you wanted money, like, hey, when, when am I, when are you going to give me some more money? So that's why I reacted this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, understandable. Yeah, yeah, but you worded it like, yeah, like what? <laughs> You were, maybe you worded it in the wrong way, you know, so I kind of thought, too, that you were... There's a lot of players, you know, sometimes I help somebody and then they immediately think I'm some kind of bank, you know, like they can just call me up whenever they want. You have to pick a route, right? You know this, right? You have to press right on the old school D-pad. Yeah, there you go. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I do, I do all these things automatically. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. If you really, if you really want to, yeah. If you want to skip all the preps, then you have to do it Leandro's way. But then you have to find the person to to do the back-to-back -back thing with. So you have to find another player that also wants to use this glitch, and then you can uh, you can just do his heist, eh, and then you get money. Uh, yeah, Leandro's way is kind of glitching, so it's uh, illegal. It's not something that Rockstar appreciates. Uh, and if if they could, and if they find out, you could be in trouble. Uh, for me, especially not for me. Now I have a completely legit account with hundreds of millions. So yeah, that would be uh, would be a complete waste of uh, of everything. Then. Yeah. Oh wait, why don't they got the camera first? See, it's best. <laughs> yeah. Well, the most important thing, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. You can you can finish what you wanted to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, you can make a lot of money with card duping, but this is something that Rockstar really doesn't like. This, they frown upon this even more than, uh, than glitching. The, the, if they find out that you, uh, that you dupe cars, then you, they will delete your account, basically. Well, then you got lucky. You you slipped uh, through the net, so so to speak. Because <laughs> yeah, well, they can. They have like uh, special little letters, basically, that say that if you do anything illegal in the game, that they have a right to just ban your account. So or reset you. They can reset your account. They can do a money wipe. They can do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, th this is what they do if it gets really bad, you know. Then they just ban your whole account, basically. They reset you. So you basically get... Yeah, yeah. But that's that's how it goes. It, for them, this is big business, man. They've, they, you know how much money they made out of uh, shark card sales? Yeah, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. So... <laughs> this Exactly. This is why they tried to ban these things. This is why they stopped them quickly. Exactly right. Uh, they're basically saying, listen, you can play the game legit if you want and make money. If you don't do this, then and and we find out, then we we punish you. Yeah. What is this one? I can't see the solution. Oh, is that it? Um, whoa. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, that was a difficult print. At the moment, um, um, what is it like? I think it's close. Yeah, it's almost 400 million. How many what? I don't know. I mean, it's uh, 400 million. <laughs> you can do the main target if you want. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, what's the code? 162920. Yeah, but I've been playing this game a little bit longer than you. And I've also been playing this game a little bit more efficient, I think. Um, what's the last numbers? I forgot. 1629 and... Ah, 20, okay. Yeah, I was talking so I can, uh, my memory wasn't working properly. There you go. Well, we have to get another key card to open up some of the doors. There's gold here, I see, so we're going to have to go back up and get a... Uh, yeah, we have to kill guards. Uh, gu guards randomly drop them, so we have to kill a couple of them and hopefully one of them will drop the card quickly. Yeah, but on your own you don't need them. On your own. Heads up. Fresh cards inbound. Basically, it doesn't matter. You know, you can run it by yourself too. It just depends on how efficient you are with uh, with getting everything done. Wow. Remember, there is always time for some last-minute shopping before takeoff. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not. Yeah. Well, you know, you live and you learn. So you're you get you've got some good. Uh, uh-huh. Well, that doesn't matter. I, you, you don't want to know how many times I died when I, stu when I first started playing it, you know? I mean, that's normal. You have, to, you have to learn, you know? You have to know what you can and cannot do and things like this. Uh, we're going to take out these two guys here because nobody is dropping key cards. Can you shoot the guy on the right in the red shirt? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Ah, he dropped something. There you go. Pick that up. Oh, you shot the water bottle. Did you, did you see that? <laughs> yeah, we have to go over here. That was actually kind of funny. Yeah, that's how you take out two guards. You must enter them at the same without time. Uh, messing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you, you, you alerted the guards. You can take the gold here if you want, on the right. Yep. Well, that's the only that's the only one that's here. It's right here, son. You're missing it. Yep. No, 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 no. Now there's a painting here, but I'm gonna go outside real quick and check what what else you have. If you have enough gold, 
Oh no, you have enough gold. You actually could have taken uh, another person because you had you had four gold tables. Okay, so we'll go back out. We'll go back to where the where we were here. We'll do so. We'll get some gold here in this room. There we go. We're going here. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, then you can fill your bag up here with the the gold that's here and then I'll take the rest and then we'll go to one more yeah it's right here and then we'll go to one more place and uh, we'll fill up my bag and then we'll uh, we'll head off the island but yeah well uh, don't miss a <laughs> don't miss a shot when you're Yeah, it, it depends. Most of, most of it is skill level. Skill level and knowledge of what you should do and shouldn't do. So, it will come. Yeah, this is why I always tell people to not shoot anybody while they're moving. Unless they're moving in a straight line, you know, so you can line up the headshot easily. Okie dokie. Well... I'll take this gold and then we're going to the exit. Well, this should net you a nice amount of money. Yeah, but you know, if you don't, if you like feel feel like bo eh, bored or whatever, you know, just go do something else. Do some races, do some death matches, or just play another game, you know. I mean, it, nobody's forcing you to... I, I've, I tend to notice this with people. They start to grind and then they get annoyed. I'm like, well, if you get annoyed, just stop grinding. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> but KO Perico heist, it's, it's, it's the, heist the, the preps are so easy, man. I mean, I can do the preps in like 25 to 30 minutes, all of them. Yeah, exactly. And, and, uh, and, yeah, yeah, that that can take that can uh, mess up your uh, your plans. This is when you shoot him. See, when he stops there, that's the perfect time to shoot the guy. What? We still have the other guy to shoot. Yep. There you go. That doesn't matter. I just gave you a tip that that's the best moment to shoot that guy. You have to pick. Yep. There you go. And I will just do what we did with uh, Leandro. So one of us grabs the bike. I think it's best that I do it so I can look for a boat. Yeah, and then you can just uh, run uh, run where I am, and then hopefully I'll have a boat by then, and we, and we can get the hell out of there. Sometimes, uh, yeah, the boats don't spawn. It's a glitch, a bug, whatever. Typical rock star. They don't, they, they don't want us to grab the boat. They want us to swim, you know, or get caught. <laughs> the yeah, just go that way. Yeah, again, but if you would do that now, you would basically, yeah, you, you could, you you don't have to do the setups, but you basically would be doing the heist for nothing because you wouldn't make any money. You would just be giving me 20%. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, exactly. But you're not going to get any money yourself, so that's why I'm saying that you have to find a partner, someone else that does the same thing. Yeah, I got a boat, we can go in. And then, yeah, you uh, you can just you can give him money, so to speak, and he can give you money. If you would do it now, you you wouldn't get any money. So the 2.1 million would disappear. I would get 20% of it, and you would get nothing. You wouldn't have to do any preps now, but in my opinion, that's not worth it. I'm, I would I would take the money and not do a quit trick now. I mean, you're you're, you're probably going to make about 1.5 or more, so <laughs> I'd be pretty happy with that for uh, maybe an hour's work, everything put together. Yeah, for me the preps are easy, you know. But uh, lately I've been chilling. I've I've not been doing the heist a lot, so I maybe do it a couple of times a week now. 
but when it when it just released, I did it on a daily basis, multiple times per day. It just depends, you know, if you have a, a nice group of friends, you know, you can have fun with them and then, you know, time goes by faster and also all the things that you're doing seem to go uh, by easier, you know, so. And if you have a nice group of people that you can do the heist with, like, like we just did, you know, if you have like a good teammate, somebody that knows what he's doing like me, you know, then, uh, yeah, then you can just speed through the heist in about 10, 10 minutes basically and always get a lead challenge and, uh, and things like that, so, yeah. And there are other ways to make money too, you know, you can do bunker, you can do the nightclub, but these are things that you have to buy, of course, businesses. You can uh, buy an arcade and then you can start doing the, the diamond casino heist, which is another like, you know, cool thing to do, especially if you've never done it. I would suggest uh, watching some videos on the heist themselves because a couple of them are pretty difficult. But th those things are fun, you know, but again, it's an investment. So let's say, oh, we just got a lead. That was close, 1433. If uh, it, it really depends if you, what you want to invest your money in. A lot of the younger people that I play with, they just want to buy the, the goodies, you know, the, the scramjet and the nice cars, the supercars and everything. But the, the smart kids, they invested in businesses and this way you make the money back tenfold over time. And uh, yeah, you have steady income without basically doing anything in the game and then the heists are basically just the, the cherry on the, the cake so to speak something that you do for a little bit of extra money and fun of course so if it isn't fun you shouldn't be doing it yeah hey look at that guy made 1.6